J Drone here. What's going on? This is the XK252 shuttle, and uh, we're gonna give this our first flight. I did an unboxing in the winter on this, but uh, we never flew it. So, first thing you gotta do is one charge your battery, charge your screen, make sure you have six good batteries in here. If they are low, blue light will blink and uh, it will bind, but then the display screen will flash and whatnot. Plug that in, put it on flat level surface, turn this controller on should be good to go as you can see there um, this is a hold if you press that button that's a hold for uh, the motors uh, this one here is your speed rates where you will be in your second speed if you do go here hold mode you can adjust uh, settings like you can on the jumper um, I'm unsure what this one does because uh, we did uh, we did press that in our sunroom and it just took off upwards so we're not gonna press it again this one back here if you and we're gonna put the hold on that way i don't cut myself if you notice the green lights they'll go green to red green is gyro red is uh acro we are going to do it in green because j drone j drone is not a uh acro king um and again we'll take this off of here if you will turn this on i have the stock sd card in there um if you can notice here ooh, i don't want to do that um i don't know if you can see my screen it's angled and we'll try to keep it so you can see that hopefully if i tilt the drone this way tilt it to the right it's straight the camera inside the drone is not sitting right so maybe at some point i'll have to try to adjust that but for time being i'm not going to and we will just record uh via the sd card stock sd card that came in there maybe we'll integrate it with flight uh so first we're going to start off in the first speed setting which this is up um and again if we press that down our blades won't spin make sure that's up that's your hold and uh again this down is acro this up is gyro if we press that it'll record if you long hold it it'll do uh it'll do video or it'll do picture long hold picture um short press for uh for the video itself which is kind of backwards to everything else Nice flyer. I'm um, really not going to watch the FPV transmission because, again, the camera is angled the wrong way. Like here, for me to straighten this, which we're trying to do here, it has to be angled that way, which is going to fly that way, which is going to be no good. So, uh, we're just going to put it up here a little bit and then we'll tilt it that way, kind of straighten it out, and then we'll bring it back this way. I think I'm gonna stop recording. I think I'm also going to. Uh, I think I'm also gonna shut off the FPV. So we're actually gonna sit this down, just so we can actually fly and me not be distracted and actually do a flight test on this. And then all the way down to kill the motors and again press that. And if you accidentally hit it up, you don't have to worry about it. So we are going to press this again. And down on your bottom screen, you have white white numbers, which will show you if you're recording or not. We're actually going to turn this off. We're going to turn this off. We're going to shut this off. We're going to do a flight review, guys. Because, um, again, that camera is not angled right. So, again, to disable the hold on the motors, simply press that up. Uh, we're going to go up. There is a gyro calibration that you can do. That's a little look at the yaw as the wind is taking it. And then uh, I'll do a little left to right, left to right. Show your rocking horse, rocking horse. That's a little look at your pitches. And uh, we're gonna throw it in the second speed setting by hitting this one stay away from that water <laughs> that'll put it in the second speed setting which we have a harder rocking horse your pitch rates have increased left to right has increased and uh, we will go ahead and bring this back to show you the yaw yaw has increased slightly there's a little look at the funnels you can expect from this not super tight really nice flyer um, we're gonna put it in the first speed setting now just so I can try to get a look at this um, through the GoPro of course almost every time I fly I got wind man a little look at it 
a little punch out words for you guys. Uh, we definitely need to fix that camera in here. We absolutely need to fix the camera because if I'm going to try to fly this FPV, um, if I'm going to even try to do a range run uh, via FPV, I need that camera straightened. And it's just off a little to the point, like I have it here tilting that way, kind of straightens it out. And uh, you, again, you can go into settings and really adjust this drone um, to your liking. And that is pitch forward heavy. Um, let's see if I can figure out how to calibrate the gyroscope. We're gonna land it on the grass again. Go like that and let's see. Let's see these lights. Lights aren't really bright. Maybe turn it this way so I can see the front lights. Maybe go. Nope, that's not good. Easy there. Okay, we're gonna lock that. Nope, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. Hmm. I forget which way to calibrate this gyroscope. It has to be one of these signals that I'm doing. So <laughs> I've uh, I've gone into all of them that I can remember. And maybe the front lights don't do anything. Maybe it's the lights underneath. I apologize about that for not looking into that prior to this flight, but let's see if that gyroscope's calibrated any. And again, we are going to drop that. That way we can take off. Still leaning forward a little bit. Or maybe backwards now. Or no. There's, it's pretty level now where it's not jetting forward as quickly as it was. There's a little look at it. Really nice looking drone. Super nice flyer too. Um, if you guys got your clicker out, you could start and stop it. When I have start and stop it for an actual flight time on this, um, towards the end I'll try to guess what it was. Uh, like do an estimate on uh, my stoppage time and start time. Just gonna go ahead and fly this out this way. XK makes good drones. The controller that I'm holding is pretty much a hobby grade drone. I mean, I'm sure the gimbals aren't, uh, aren't extremely, extremely hobby grade or anything. Definitely not haul gimbals, I'm sure. But uh, they make nice drones. They generally give you a nice control that comes with it. about XK besides that camera. <laughs> My camera did not pass quality testing. As it is just slightly off. Which it should be pretty simple to open this up. It's probably gonna be a bunch of screws pop it open and slightly adjust it, but seeing how it's FPV 5.8 gigahertz, it'll be simple to adjust it, where uh, I'm not gonna have to set and then record and then look at it on the computer and then reset and record. It'll be live transmission 5.8 gigahertz. Reset that so it shouldn't be that difficult. And right now, I think we are in the first speed setting. Let's go ahead and crank it up to the second speed setting. And again, you could change these rates higher to 100% if you wanted to. Um, let's do a quick punch up. Let's see. It's a little punch up for you guys. Um, just like the jumper, you could go up to I think 125% on the jumper. And I think these XK drones, you can bind to the jumper. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure you can. Super nice flyer, smooth. Not really loud either. It is not really loud at all. Go ahead and buzz by us. Seems to be getting a good flight time here too, guys. Range on it, we've probably had it out around the 100 meter mark. I'm not gonna take it no further than that because uh, one, because of where I am, I'm not really in prime area to be taking out really far. I mean, we'll fly down here a little bit. I'll bring it back. It's been a long 
long time coming. This guy's been sitting all winter, been itching to get out. I have a couple other drones that I've only done indoor flights with, and uh, this one I didn't even do an indoor flight with. I did nothing with it. I did an unboxing with it. There's a look at your funnels. Birdie flying by. And uh, the shell of this seems to be much like the bugs too, um, where it's that uh, cheap plastic and not really a Duraflex like you've seen on some of the Sky Vipers or even the Bugs 3. The Bugs 3 has a almost a Duraflex type of plastic to it. This is that, uh, I like to call it shell plastic, <laughs> almost like eggshell plastic. So if you hit this hard on the ground, it probably will break. Um, I'm surprised it didn't break when I hit that one toggle that I told you that it kind of flew straight up Which actually see I don't know that we want to try it. We'll, we'll try it. I mean see what happens here All right, I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna press that toggle this toggle And I'm yeah, I don't know what that toggles for dude. Uh, the thing just took off I I quickly switched it back down and I'll show you what toggle that is Maybe we'll do it again just to show you. This toggle here, somebody let me know what it is. It just takes off. <laughs> and as you switch out of it to gain control, the motors will shut down if you are down. Um, I don't know what that toggle is. Somebody let me know what that toggle is, man. <laughs> but I pressed that in my sunroom and it shot straight up. And uh, I was fortunately, fortunate the battery popped out and I did break a propeller. But it comes with extra propellers. Really simple to twist off the top uh, prop nut and uh, get another propeller back on. It's really surprised that arm didn't break though, because again, it kind of has that shell plastic to it. It's a nice zipper, man. Really nice zipper. And I am showing red lights in the back, I think. Yep. Woo, easy, easy. If I would have kept nosing down, it would have uh, it would have did a nose dive. It was coming down, it wanted to land, and I was holding back trying to counter again to be safe. Hit that switch that way uh, in case you hit this, you don't hit your arms. But there you go. You got red blinkies in the back. And uh, damn, so look at this. We got little pads here, guys. We got little rubber pads that I did not notice for the landing gear on here. There's a, uh, I'll show you up close. There's little, these things right, right here that I'm running my thumb over. Those are rubber pads for it to sit on. It actually worked well. It worked really well. Um, and now it's kind of a hard landing. And again, you could see uh, red lights blinking. That's a good indicator that your battery is low. I'm surprised that these white lights don't correspond with anything. They should really have those white lights correspond. But all right, guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Again, this was the XK X. 252 shuttle um and again xk good 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 drone manufacturer we just got to get that camera situated there we got to get that straightened out all right later